Yo, what up, fellas? It's Carlos here with Backyard Diesels. I got a real cool one. This is my first time seeing this one. Uh, Fickham issues. Okay, let me show you what I have. Um, it's a uh, 04 um, 6.0 uh, power stroke. Well, this is an excursion, but um, it was giving Fickham related issues. Uh, injectors weren't, you know, when you switch the key on, uh, you hear the injectors uh, clattering. So, um, I, I have a, a used Fickham put it, and the truck started real fine. And then it turned off. I'm like, what the hell? So I moved the cables again back in the Fickham. Maybe I didn't plug something in right. And the clattering uh, went away. And then I turned the ignition cycle on and it started working again. So I went to go driving it. It was good, nothing, no problems or whatever. Uh, and then it did it again, it, it turned off. Like, what the hell? <clears throat> so I had my scanner and everything going. But anyways, I did the full works. This was a three day job. So trying to figure out, it was starting, stopping, <clears throat> I checked pressure, checked everything, but I knew it was something with the injector. I'm like, man, I must have, damn, I'm probably going to have to open up the valve covers or something. There's a short somewhere or something because it started working fine and then it just it stopped. It wouldn't turn on, wouldn't do anything. But I, um, it, it would it would crank over, it would, it would just act normal. But the only thing, every uh, you would hear the clattering sound and then it would stop. And then again, and then it was like, man... Is that, that possibly a bad Fickham too? So I'm like, no, that can't be. So anyways, I started moving all these damn cables, just checking shit, because I knew something wasn't right. You know, I did the full works uh, relay. Uh, they're, they're in different spots on uh, six liters. But it's always a big one. When you pull them out, you can always tell this is the fatter one with the prongs that go inside the uh, on the relay. That one's hard to get to. But these... I guess I don't know if you can, these will be fatter. That's the uh, 48 volts to the Fickham. <coughs> um, fuse, everything was good. Now I'm gonna show you where the problem was. And I just found this out just this shit pretty much a while ago. So this truck has been acting up. Uh, owner said it does this, does that. And I'm like, man, I just fucking, every time it would bring it, it was good. Um, uh, it would drive good for a week, two weeks, and then again. So I'm like, damn, and I kind of found this by luck. I'm like, man, I heard a little, like, a uh, little spark, you know, I guess whenever you ground out, kind of like a battery short. And then I just started, I heard something, so I started looking. Well, here's your um, harness that goes here to the Fickham. Well, you see all this aluminum in here? This is not look. I, I opened up all. It was nice and perfect. Nothing. This was no damage or anything. It, it looked just like this, you know, just perfect seal and cover. <clears throat> so I pulled out the battery, pulled everything, put everything back together, opened them up, and it started fine. You know, no more problems. But I was just then I just ah fuck it, leave it running. I went back inside, work on another truck, and come back out and it was off. Oh, I'm like, oh damn. So I started moving stuff and just, I heard that thing again, uh, the little ground out. So then I started checking my grounds. So here's what, what I found. There's a ground in here that was wrapped up in a weird way. I have it tied down right now. Um, so I went to look at my diagrams. There's grounds that come out of here, but this one was just wrapped around the cable right here, just around right here. And I guess over time, the aluminum foil, which was grounding out, was supposed to be touching this foil, which I pulled all that off, which you know, it's another source of ground. So there's grounds everywhere. Here's here's another ground, just wrapping up the foil. You can see them right here. I don't know why the hell they did that. Instead of just running straight, a straight wire all the way, which this is the ground right here. I forgot the pins and all that. But that's your problem, hopefully. This is kind of weird. I've never seen this before. But I found sh short shorts on several other things, not on the damn Fickham itself. Maybe somebody else has seen it. So let me just kind of show you what happened. See, you didn't hear the injectors. Because I pulled that ground off. 
Yeah, hand on back. All right, you'll be here to hear it now because now I know where the problem is. So here's the ground that goes out to the uh, thickum. You hear them? So this one, it, I guess it was every time I would check it, it would work. So I just roping them up, ground it out. So there, got a bad ground. There's too much noise over here in the background, but <clears throat> there you have it. Uh, hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully that's your problem. But that is a new uh, thickums, uh, one that I keep in here, a four-pin thickum, but that's that's another story. So um, if you're having this issue. I always look on the Ford's uh, six six liters. Um, there's one. Uh, it's always a fatter one, the gray one on this side, and then you have the one for the uh, driver module, which is inside. But you can look at the owner's manual and all that. Check the fuses. Fuse right here. Tens, twenties. Uh, I think that has to be a fifteen, but it don't matter. All this is good. Uh, so there, grounding issues on the uh, six liter. And appreciate you guys. Hopefully this helps you out. And if, it could be something so simple. And one thing that caught me is when I replaced the thick on the truck, it ran fine for a month. I'm like, what? So that that was it. That was uh, the problem. Anyways, appreciate it, guys. Uh, and I'm going to do this in Spanish now. So, quise mi raza. Mandamos aquí Carlos otra vez con... Enseñarles un poquito de lo que encontré. Bueno, esta troca me la han traído muchas veces y por el mismo problema y siempre que me la trae nunca le encuentro nada nada todo bien presiones altas diésel filtros todo cambio de este se cuida mucho esta troca um, la computadora la cambié la última vez pero nunca le encontré tampoco el problema yo le dije gente man yo no sé qué está pasando uh, todo está bien pero te la voy a cambiar a lo mejor algo eléctrico eterno algo que no puedo ver ya la pusimos una la Después jaló bien un mes y otra vez dice, no, ya no me prendió. Oh, ahorita te la llevo, ya prendió. Y no, pues ya estoy dicho y el otro era en la pinche tierra. Y ya tuve varios días aquí, en la, tres días, y que jale y no jala. Hasta que ya se dio por chingar. Y abrí todo el pinche cableado, lo que no me gustaba, no importa dónde le puchabas al cable. Allá, aquí, acá. Se escuchaban los inyectores, así igualito que esto. Se escuchaba el pinche relay. No sé si lo escuchan. Ya abrí todo el pinche cableado. <coughs> pues no me. Ya me fui puchando el desarmador uno por uno y chicando y eso y el otro. Ya los abrí a la chingada y, y me encontré los tierras. Este dije, pues. Eso son tierras, no hay pedo. Aquí está este. Y ya desarmé todo y prendió todo. Y ya el último, ya no pude reproducir lo que hice ya. Dije, pues ah, chingado otra vez. Y ahora aparté este tierra. Y ya fue cuando me di cuenta, le hice tierra aquí. Y fue cuando pinche ya funcionó todo. Ahí lo escuchan. So, este tierra falso contacto. Y el pedo es que nomás está el tierra solo. Llega hasta aquí, mira. Ahí mero termina. Aquí termina el tierra. Aquí. Pero no hay ningún otro donde se conecta. Nomás está enrollado alrededor. Pero el, el aluminio este, madre, es el que lo hace que haga tierra. Y aquí está el tierra que viene del, del ECM. Que viene siendo este tierra no sé por qué pinche le hicieron así porque no hicieron una añidura completa que viene siendo este mira aquí también puedes hacer tierra pero bueno ahorita voy a cortar ese cable a añadirlos arreglarlos todo bien mira acá viene otra vez el pinche tierra para acá ni sé cómo, cómo está este pedo aquí pero bueno miré los diagramas todo eso estuve buscando los tierras y ya pues todo lo el jale quise y nomás ahorita para explicarles qué será el pedo. Por si sí fue varios pinches horitas en esta desgracia. Bueno, unas preguntas, échame una hablada. Hasta luego aquí nos despedemos. Backyard Diesels en Garland. Por favor, suscríbanse, puchen la like. Um, denme ideas, qué problemas tienen. Siempre casi trato de responder rápido, pero siempre les contesto a todos. Pero muchas gracias y que tengan buen día. Hasta luego.